is going on ladies and gentlemen this is jay from maji and jay today we're going to spice things up a little bit more by bringing something totally different to the table these are called the axio sprint earphones and they came from the website tinydeal.com for only $39.99 now what makes these special is that they are bluetooth powered second they come with the ipx4 certifications uh, meaning that they are waterproof and then third, they come with an 8 hour lasting battery which I would really like to test and the reason I came across these is because you guys know that I work for the post office and sometimes when we get there at 7.30 in the morning, we have to case some stuff and a lot of the guys do have earphones and they have a lot of stuff that they use but I don't have anything. So for that reason, I decided to pick these up and again guys, they are super affordable, they come with great specifications, they have amazing reviews all around the website. So now what we're going to do next so that you don't see all this glare, let me go ahead and remove this wrapper that came around the box. That way it's a lot easier for you guys to see it. The box is very lightweight and if you guys want to choose a DHL like I did, it's going to cost you anywhere between 10 to 12 US dollars to the USA. Uh, but keep in mind that different countries do have different quotes so make sure that you check out their website and see how much it's going to cost you. Now here, like I said, on the front, we're going to have the earphones themselves. We can see there the brand is Axio, the model Sprint. It says here, Sport Stereo Wireless Headset. On the bottom right, we can see there that it has eight hours of talk time. On the left-hand side, they are claiming to have some battery indicator. Maybe this is a notification LED light or something like that. There we can see the certification that I mentioned earlier is the IPX4. And then on the left side of the box, we can see there that the sound quality is claiming it to be CD quality. And also it comes with HD voice capability, which is something very, very neat. Looking on the back side of the box, here we're going to find some of the specifications of this product as we can see right there from the box. Um, I was noticing here that the 8 hours is only for the talk time and the music play time is about 7 hours which is still fantastic. We can see here all the colors that we have available. We got white and gray, we have red and black which is the one that I truly wanted but they didn't have it available. We have green and black and finally the black which is the one that I eventually selected. It comes with a 130 power milliamp battery, the charging time is about 2 hours and also it has the Bluetooth 4.1 like I said before and 4.1 is actually pretty good, it's pretty stable but I heard also that on these specific earphones you must have your device close to you otherwise you might hear some distortion on them. I haven't tested them yet, as a matter of fact you just saw me um, taking out the wrapper so I really can't wait guys to try them out. I was waiting for this now for about almost 4 or 5 days until I finally got them today. Of course it is made in China and these are all the accessories that we're going to find inside of the box. We just have the USB cable and also some earbuds for comfort. So the wires on these are going to be memory wires which means that they can bend um, and then you can fit them on your ear depending on what style of ear you have. So now let me go ahead and take them out of the box so that way we can see everything that we have inside here. So it comes with this uh, clear protector on the front. I'm not sure if there is any tape on here. It doesn't appear to be guys. Um, let me see if I can take this the easy way without having to break the box. I do like to keep boxes around. It helps me a lot. Sometimes I use them as decoration as you guys can tell right here. And the reason I have this here is because we will complete a sound quality test even though it is not the most accurate way to do it. But if you guys have one of these and you have some other earphones, you can go ahead and do the test yourselves and then compare them with these um, according to this video. So here we're going to find some of the accessories as I mentioned from the back of the box. We're going to have some uh, memory uh, earbuds which means that they can adjust according to your ear and I can tell already guys it feels so nice and fluffy I would say. It feels like it's going to be very very comfortable in your ear. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there but as I press them they kind of get like a little shape and that's because again we have the memory earbuds. Then we got here some more earbuds, as you guys can tell, these are basically just rubber ones. So these are a little bit different and they come for all ear sizes as well. Next we got the USB cable, this is just a micro standard USB cable and again guys it takes about 2 hours for a full charge and if you're going to be exercising or completing uh, activities outside and it's going to take you a long time, I would definitely recommend that you guys charge it to the max so that way you get the best usage. Uh, finally in here we're going to see the earphones themselves and we do have some manuals on here provided by Axio. I'm not sure how accurate these are, you can see there it says Axio Sprint, it seems like it's a specific for this model. 
So there we can see some of the buttons and it comes by numbers. Number three is the volume up and also the next track. Volume down is to go and retrieve to the track that you were before, of course, and it's also the volume down. Uh, then we have the multifunction button. I'm assuming that that's the power key as well, and maybe to pause and mute your, um, your phone. Also, we got the number six, which is the LED indicator. That's only for the battery. Uh, number seven is for the charging jack. And then finally, number eight is for the tips themselves. So let me go ahead and flip a page and here it is explaining how to charge it. Then it will most likely tell us how to pair it and how to use it. You can see that it comes with a memory wire, so that means that you guys can adjust it according to your likes. And this is how it goes. As a matter of fact, I will have my daughter wear it and I will provide a little uh, video clip so that way you guys can see exactly how they look like. But this is how you're supposed to wear them. The wire goes around your ear on the back side, which in my opinion, I think is actually very comfortable. And again, if you guys like to exercise and do a lot of um, outside activities, these are definitely recommended. Also, the cool part about these earphones is that you can connect with multiple devices. Uh, you can use it sometimes for music. And then at the same time, if you're connected to another smartphone and you get a phone call, you can still receive it and at the same time listen to the music that you had on your other device, which is something very, very cool. So now let me go ahead and take these out of the box so that way we can go ahead and check the overall style of them. This um, little cover that they come in is very, very tight. Well guys, and now that we have everything set aside, here we have the earphones themselves and now we're gonna take a closer look. We can see how nice they look and at first when I saw other videos on YouTube, I assumed that the quality wasn't gonna be that great and you know, considering the price only 40 US dollars, I thought that they were gonna be very, very crappy but it's actually quite neat how they are. The memory wire seems to be very nice and flexible and it seems to be very comfortable. As a matter of fact, I already tested them a little bit on my ears and they didn't bother a bit. Now here we're going to go ahead and check the controls and here we're going to find the brand there, it says Axio, we're going to find the main microphone. On this side we just got the charging port which is the micro size as you guys know already and this is going to take about two hours to charge. Let me see if I can give you here a better focus and there we have it, that's the side that carries the charging port like I said before. Then on top, you're going to see here the multi-function button. This is going to be a power key, a Bluetooth key, a mute key, and many other functions. Then we got the volume up and down, as we saw before from the box. And then on the other side, it's going to be absolutely plain, so nothing too special here. Also, from one side to the other, it appears that we have about, I would guess, about one foot and maybe three inches, just about, if you guys ask me, so it is not too, too long. With that being said, as we saw from the manuals, to power it on, all we have to do is just hold this for a couple seconds and then we're going to see an LED light coming on and there we can see it. It is a blue and red LED light. That means that right now it is in parry mode. In this particular case, we're going to test them with the iPhone 6S Plus, the T-Mobile version, and we're also going to test it with the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and see how well they work. So now that we have connected to the iPhone 6S Plus, let me see if we can actually connect with the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. As a matter of fact, I have done it a little bit earlier before. So to do so, all we have to do is go here to the actual uh, Axio Sprint little tab. And it says connecting guys, but I think that it can only connect with two devices when you're using a PC, maybe a smartphone or a tablet and a smartphone, uh, possibly an iPod when it's a uh, smartphone to smartphone is not going to pair as you guys can notice here. But that's okay. In this particular testing, we're going to use actually the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge since I have most of my non-copyrighted music on there. So let me go ahead and get this connected. And now we're going to pair here with the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Let me see if it's going to work now. It should work fine. Since I have unpaired it, let me just go ahead and turn off the Bluetooth here. And there we go guys, it has connected now. That's very, very cool. So what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and test it out and then I'm going to give you guys my verdict of what I think about these new Axio Sprint earphones. Well guys, and now that I have completed my own testing on these little earphones, I have to come to a conclusion that the quality is actually quite tremendous considering the price on these guys is only $39.99 and the base on them, the clarity, everything is super great. I am very, very satisfied. As a matter of fact, I'll be playing here some non-copyrighted songs and of course I tested it with my own songs which are 
copyrighted and I cannot provide any samples on this video unfortunately but here we go let me go ahead and uh, play the last song that I had on here which was again a non copyrighted one so that way you guys can at least get a glance on how loud they are I'll be getting them close to my earphones or actually my microphone and you guys tell me what you think about it right now everything is at its max volume You guys can probably notice that they don't sound scratchy whatsoever. Okay guys, and now the other testing that we're going to complete here is with my little sound tester. We're going to continue playing that same song that we were playing before. So let me go ahead and place it on play here. There we go. So again, if you guys have your own earphones and before you buy these, you want to test it and you have one of these testers, you can definitely use it and compare it. Of course, a lot of that has to do with the song. So if you guys want to know the song that I'm playing here, which is an uncopyrighted on this particular test, this is the name of the song. So that way you guys can search it out on the website and then download it and test it for yourselves. So there we have it guys for the testing of this little earphones and of course we have gone through all of the pros but like any other product we do have some cons to them. First of all the mic on them which is the one that we see right here is not the most sensitive out there and it doesn't come with noise cancelling capabilities so if you guys happen to see yourselves in a windy uh, environment or where there is a lot of noise the other party will listen to that and they might complain about it or sometimes they might complain that they listen to you a little bit far. So yes, the mic is not the most sensitive guys, just keep that in mind and also even though we have the IPX4 certification for waterproof, this is not so that you guys can go swimming with it, it's not so that you can take showers with the earphones even though you might try but again guys, water can get in them and you might damage it, this is only for slight water, it's, uh, I would say for like a little bit of mist or maybe your own sweat even though it sounds a little bit gross. Uh, that's pretty much what these are going to uh, you know most likely survive keep in mind guys that these still Chinese product and even though this particular model is actually quite good I'm not sure exactly how well they're going to do under the water I might do a separate video testing them and see if they actually survive with that being said please guys on the comment section below let me know what you think about this little earphones let me know what you think about the overall design and also this little memory cable which uh, you can uh, customize it according to your ear uh, style and and comfort uh, please let me know on the comment section below don't forget that I have provided the link also on the description of the video and again guys if you have any questions leave your comment below like the video subscribe for more thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one